the 10 most advanced humanoid robots in the world. After watching this top, you'd better treat your devices with more affection, because if not, they could take revenge in a couple of years. Hasta la vista, baby. Number 10, Pepper. My name is Pepper. I'm a humanoid robot and I'm 1.20 meters tall. Pepper was designed to interact with people and, listen to this, he can recognize human emotions, gestures, sounds, faces, tone of voice, and if you're touching him. He is always learning and modifies his behavior depending on the interaction. Ooh, ouch, ouch. Only if you don't go faster than 1.8 miles per hour, which is his top speed, he can go with you everywhere, rolling on his three wheels for 12 hours of autonomy given by its lithium battery. No doubts, a great robo-friend, unless you talk to him about topics he doesn't like. I don't like to talk about politics. It's a sensitive subject. Ha! And he can dance! But the most incredible is that he was a speaker in a TED Talk. Robots designed to check on bombs in the war zones like Iraq or Afghanistan. Isn't that politics, Pepper? Number 9. The Incredible Bionic Man all of my parts are supposed to benefit humans, not replace them, but even robots have dreams. Frank was designated to study how far technology has come. He has synthetic organs like his heart, which is used in patients already, a circulatory system with artificial blood, the first artificial lung prototype, and one kidney implantable in human beings. In addition, he has arms and legs prostheses, but actually his walk is pretty dumb. An interesting thing is that Frank's arms are just like the left bionic prosthesis used by Bertolt Meyer, who is the hostess in the documental How to Build a Bionic Man, where he talks about the robot's development. Number 8. Spot Mini The robot giraffe dog by Boston Dynamics is in sale since 2019, but only if you have a huge business this company will attend your request, and the price is also a secret, of course. The Spot Mini can climb stairs, traverse rough terrain, and is small enough to use indoors. I must admit that I was shocked when I saw this. And it's even worse when they cooperate. I think the rise of the machines is coming. This dog-like robot weighs 66 pounds, has a payload capacity of 30 pounds, a runtime of 90 minutes, and a speed of 5 feet per second. In addition, the Spot Mini also has a 360-degree vision, stereo cameras, and sensors to analyze the area. By the way, the robot perfectly works in minus 5.8 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 degree Fahrenheit environments and can be really persistent. Scary! Number 7. Romeo Bonjour. Je Romeo. Hi Romeo, good morning. Isn't lovely that French accent? He obtained it thanks to his developers from different European laboratories and institutions, mainly in France. Romeo has been designed to assist elderly or disabled people. His body is made of carbon fiber and rubber, so he doesn't hurt the human being in his care. He weighs 88 pounds and is 4.5 feet tall. He can walk, take objects with his hands, and help people to get into or out of bed. Romeo has a three-dimension view to interact with his surroundings and can also speak since he has cognitive support and conversation modules. Bonjour tout le monde. Je vais vous dire un petit secret. Look, it seems he gets along with Pepper, the robot we saw three places ago. Number 6. Valkyrie Robonaut 5 This is Valkyrie Robonaut 5, also known as NASA's R5. Yes, it's exactly what you're thinking. Valkyrie was built by the Johnson Space Center to be sent to colonize Mars. The robot has fully articulated limbs, is capable of being under extreme temperatures, and has about 200 sensors for exploration in Martian territory. This robonaut weighs 300 pounds, is 6 feet tall, and the battery is capable of running the robot for an hour. While biped locomotion and navigation systems in small spaces are still being tested, it's intended that this Earth ambassador with screws will be able to assemble structures by itself. This last point is very important. 
as it's unfeasible to control Valkyrie remotely due to the delay in communications between Earth and Mars. Number 5. Sawyer Look at that precision. This is Sawyer, the world's most advanced industrial robot and the successor to the famous Baxter. The reason why Sawyer is so amazing is his Intera 5 software, which allows him to learn how to perform complicated tasks by manually guiding his arm, which is very helpful to humans who must program him. In this way, this friend can work in uncomfortable, dangerous spaces or in functions that are too repetitive for a person. Like Baxter, Sawyer once again opens the debate about whether or not a robot will take away jobs from people since he can perform more than 150 different tasks and doesn't eat or go to the bathroom. Any company could get one for $29,000. So I wonder if he can also make videos for YouTube. Number 4. Method 2 Enough toys. Look what Amazon owner is test driving. Why am I feeling so much like Sigourney Weaver? <laughs> wow, you can beat the alien with this robot. This Korean Megazord weighs 1.5 tons, is 13 feet tall, mimics the movements of your arms and hands, and the best part, you can drive it from the inside. Watch it walk. Its purposes are still unclear, but it could be used during fires, provide help after disasters, and even find a place in the army. In other words, it can protect the small and fragile body of a human in dangerous areas. Developing this mechanical wonder costs $200 million, but when it finally goes on sale, it'll cost around $8.3 million per unit. Uh, apparently my dream of Megazord's fights will be quite expensive. Number 3. Atlas I don't think it's a good idea to bully a robot, especially if it's one as agile as an athlete. Atlas can chase you through the city, forest, and even snow. Just like the Spot Mini, it was created by Boston Dynamics. And this is not about bullying. Although this could bring the Judgment Day closer, they are actually evidence of Atlas's capabilities. He's 5 feet tall, weighs 176 pounds, and is capable of running at 1.5 meters per second. He can do all these incredible movements thanks to his customized hydraulic systems and motors, allowing him to supply high power to his 28 joints. Look, he can even do a backflip! Alright Atlas, stop showing off. Watch and learn. Ouch! Number 2. Asimo This champion warms up like this. He's about to fight against a human. Goal for Asimo! His full name is Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, but until you say the whole name, Asimo has made you a coffee already to quench your thirst. He's just 4.2 feet tall, weighs 105 pounds, and is capable of running at 5.6 miles per hour. Just like Romeo, robot number 7, this one, designed by Honda, aims to be an assistant for people with limited mobility. He has multiple sensors that allow him to capture the sounds and movements of people around, changing his behavior and routine quickly. In addition, he can recognize people's faces and voices, even if they ask for different things at the same time. For example, in here. He can move each finger independently and coordinate them to perform tasks such as opening a thermos's lid and serving coffee. And while Honda has stopped his development to focus on other automates, the level of combined features gathered by Asimo will be difficult to overcome. By the way, Asimo met Obama. Mr. President, I'm Asimo, a humanoid robot. It is a pleasure to meet you. Number 1. Sophia made some albums back in, in the 80s hip-hop. I have heard your songs. Not for me. This is Sophia, and it seems that she doesn't get along with Will Smith, but why? Okay, I get it. What Sophia can do is on another level. Are you able to think by, by yourself? Can you make decisions? I'm making decisions all the time, both in terms of what I say and how I behave. 
This creation of Hanson Robotics works like this. When you talk to her, her software starts searching for information on the network so that she can prepare the best possible answer while collecting data from her interactions to develop her artificial intelligence. In addition, she has a camera that detects anyone who is approaching, recognizes their face, and is even able to mimic human gestures. With her latex face, she can smile, blink, and change expressions. Her artificial intelligence is so advanced that she could copy human personality. Funny fact, Sophia is a citizen of Saudi Arabia. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. She also has a YouTube channel where she talks about her experiences, trips, and the people she's met? Wait, is she a YouTuber? No! Another robot that wants to put me out of business. Why is this happening to me? Like this video if you think Will deserves an opportunity. If you want to see more content like this before Sawyer and Sophia get my job, subscribe and click on the bell icon. Here are more videos about crazy things, humor, you know, things robots don't understand yet, I think.